What's crackling, everybody? Welcome back once again to the Definitive Serial Tier List, where each episode we take a serial, put it on the tier list, so you know how good it is. I'm your host, Tucker, and this episode we're visiting our friend Toucan Sam again to try his limited edition Tropical Fruit Loops. Now, we've done a number of Fruit Loops before this, starting with, of course, the A ranked, just normal Fruit Loops. Pretty good cereal. Now, as you go down to a B here, you're going to find the Fruit Loops with Marshmallow and the Wild Berry Fruit Loops. But the last limited edition Fruit Loops we did was the Birthday Cake Fruit Loops, and that was an E. That was not very good at all. So, hoping this is more like a Wild Berry or normal. Um, I mean, theme-wise, it at least seems closer to that than birthday cake, so that's a good sign. But let's just bust it out, see what we got. Oh, and I guess it's worth noting the tropical Fruit Loops are pineapple, banana, orange, and mango. Oh wow, that smells very fruity. Yeah, that's a fun scent. All right. Definitely smells like tropical fruit sweetener. It's pineapple, orange, mango. Are those different colors of yellow? Seems like there's only three colors. They used the yellow twice there, so maybe it's two different shades. I don't know. Okay. You can definitely tell that it's like a Fruit Loop, but that sort of tropical flavor is kind of nice. It's, I don't think we've had something like that really before, but at the moment, it seems pretty good. I was a little worried at first that some of the tropical flavor might be a bit too much as I continued in, but seems to be like a, a pretty good level right now where you're definitely getting it but it's not sort of throwing too much at you like maybe the coconut Cheerios that sort of thing so still definitely enjoying this I don't know if it's better than normal Fruit Loops but it's a uh, seeming like a very worthy addition to the brand I just tried a whole bunch of yellow pieces individually, one by one, to see if uh, I could find a difference between the pineapple one and the banana one. And both taste-wise and visually, I couldn't tell a difference. So I guess that's a thing. But, you know, at least I know for sure that's what that was. I don't know why I didn't realize at the very beginning that the other yellow was pineapple. I guess I was just focusing on the outside of a pineapple, but yeah, the inside is definitely yellow so good job me for understanding fruit now it's time to see if we've got some tropical milk in here yeah I, I think the peace tropical flavor is actually stronger than the milk is it's, it's definitely just sort of a more subdued version of the peach taste. But yeah, this is not bad. I, I think I actually do like the taste the peach gives you better, just because the more present version of it, but you can't really complain about this milk. I enjoyed this tropical taste, but it didn't quite sort of transport me mentally to a, an island. That might be because I'm looking outside and I'm seeing snow, so don't think I'm going to blame Toucan Sam for that one. As you can tell, this is a much better limited edition Fruit Loop than the birthday cake one was. So right off the bat, this is going to be much higher up. Again, I don't think it's quite as good as normal Fruit Loops. I think that's still is number one for me. But I think it's sort of up there with those 
main three, I guess. I'm ignoring the birthday cake one. That one no longer considered a Fruit Loop. What that means is that I'm going to give Tropical Fruit Loops a B. Pretty strong cereal, doesn't quite reach the high of normal Fruit Loops, but I think it's definitely comparable quality-wise to the Fruit Loops with marshmallows and wild berry. So all of those very strong contenders, but none of them quite matching up to original Fruit Loops. It's, it's been a long time since I had the wild berry, so I can't say for certain if I'd prefer this or that. Yeah, I don't know, I'm trying to remember, but it's it's sort of vague at this point. But I think they're both very good if you happen to find either of them in the wild. Plus, it's cool that they did like a tropical flavor, which we haven't really seen before, and it wasn't a complete train wreck. So that right there is to sort of bonus points, so, you know, round of applause for Toucan Sam there for not trying to hurt my mouth with this. So I guess that gives it a little more points than Wildberry. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and in the comments below, post your general thoughts. Let me know if you've managed to pick up a box of this limited edition Fruit Loop cereal. I'd heard that it'd been in, I think, South American countries before coming to the US, so if you were able to try that original run and you've found that there's some sort of difference between the two, let me know about that. Um, if you are very sad because you can't find this anywhere, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> let me, you can let me know about that too and you know, complain to Kellogg's for not making it more readily available, I guess. Um, but if, if you think that there's another sort of fun fruit variety Fruit Loops should try, because we got normal Fruit Loops, which is just your basic fruit. You got wild berry, which, you know, is a fun thing, and you got tropical. I'm not sure what a fourth fruit category would be, but if you have an idea for that, you can let me know about that too. But until next time, stay delicious.